Hi there. Thank you for joining us in today's lesson on wave motion. We defined a pulse as a single disturbance that travels through a medium and we discovered that a wave is just a series of pulses that move through a medium. For both transverse pulses and transverse waves, the particles of the medium move at right angles to the motion of the pulses through the medium. It is also important to remember that as the pulses move through the medium, energy is transferred from particle to particle. Let's join Keke for more information on waves. When we describe the displacement of a pulse or wave motion, we measured the length that the pulse traveled in one vibrational cycle and called it the pulse or wavelength. I'm sure you agree that it would make sense to also measure the time that the pulse or wave takes to complete one vibrational cycle if we now want to describe the movement even more accurately. Because a wave is just a series of pulses, a wave also has a period. This is the time taken for one wavelength to pass a fixed position in the medium. So the period of a wave, T, is equal to the time taken for a complete cycle to pass a point. We can show this relationship in a simple formula. Period T equals the time taken divided by the number of cycles. Can you remember how we calculate the frequency of a wave? KK will show us and tell us about the wave equation. Frequency equals number of cycles divided by time. Now, the unit for frequency is Hertz, and it has quite an interesting origin. Heinrich Hertz was a German physicist who proved that electricity can be transmitted in electromagnetic waves that travel at the speed of light. His experiments led to the development of the telegraph and the radio, and as a reward for his contribution to the world of physics, his name became the term used to identify frequencies. The symbol that we use to indicate hertz is hz, and one hertz is equivalent to one cycle per second. Now, let's find the period and frequency of waves by looking at an example. This linky coil completes eight cycles in four seconds. Why don't you try to write down the period and the frequency for this wave? Did you try it? Let's check your answers together. We'll start by finding the frequency. Remember, frequency is the number of cycles per second. In this example, there are eight cycles in four seconds. So we have to divide the number of cycles by the time in seconds. So eight cycles divided by four is two. So the frequency of this wave is two cycles per second, or two hertz. Now, let's write down the period for this wave. Remember, period is equal to time taken divided by the number of cycles. So, if it took four seconds to complete eight cycles, then it must have taken half a second to complete one cycle. Do you agree? Now, I want you to take another look, a very careful look at these two calculations. Do you notice any relationship between the period and the frequency of the wave? Notice the value of frequency is 2 over 1, while period is 1 over 2. If we multiply these together, we will always get a constant value, 1. This type of relationship is called an inversely proportional relationship. Can you see what this relationship means? What would happen to the period if the frequency increased by 5 times from 2 Hz to 10 Hz? Well, the period would decrease by 5 times from 0,5 seconds to 0,1 second. So, as the one variable increases, the other variable decreases by the same. Mathematically, scientists write this relationship as period is 1 over frequency, while frequency is 1 over period or t is equal to 1 over f, and f is 1 over t. Now that we have identified the relationship between frequency and period, let's see how these are related to wavelength and the speed or velocity of a wave moving through a medium. The movement we are describing here is the movement of the wave from one side of the medium to the other. It is not the movement of the particles that we are interested in now. Did you notice that when a wave moves, it covers a certain distance in a certain time? The wave also moves in a particular direction, so it must have velocity. 
From your lessons on motion, you should recall that equation for velocity is V equals change in position over change in time. Now, let's rewrite this equation using the terms we have defined for waves. We know that the period T of a wave is the time taken for one complete cycle or for one wavelength to pass a fixed point in the medium. This means that in the time the wave changes position by an amount, lambda. So, to find the velocity of the wave, we can change the equation to become V equals lambda over T. We could also write this as V equals lambda times 1 over T. Now we know that F equals 1 over T. So we can simplify the equation even further to become V equals lambda times frequency. This equation is called the wave equation and is used to calculate the motion of the wave moving through a medium. Let's check the units of V in the wave equation. We know that lambda has the SI unit meters and frequency is measured per second. So the unit is meters per second, written as m dot s to the minus 1. This wave equation is used to calculate wave speed. Okay. Armed with our newly discovered equation, let's see if we can work out the wave speed in the following example together. A wave in a slinky has a wavelength of 2 meters and a period of 2 seconds. Calculate the wave speed. First, let's write down the information we were given. The wavelength, or lambda, is 2 meters. The period of the wave is 2 seconds, but we also know that frequency is equal to 1 over t, which means frequency is equal to 0, 0,5 seconds. Now let's substitute these values into our equation. This gives us an answer of 1 meter per second. So, the wave speed of this wave is 1 meter per second. That wave equation that Keke derived is very useful, so please make a note of it. Velocity of the wave is given by wavelength times the frequency of the wave. That's all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed our lesson on wave motion. Look out for more videos and the Waves Task video on our website at www.mindset.ca.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.